Hi guys, I'm excited to be working on another project with you this week. And this is Relax and Paint. I want you to relax, have a good time. And let's create a dragonfly with a flower. I'm gonna use um, just multimedia board instead of a canvas, but canvases are great. This is great uh, if you're not painting um, probably 20 canvases easy a week. So I am going to draw on paper with uh, number two lead pencil and check out my drawing classes because we're building your drawing skills, especially those who say, I don't know how to draw. Okay, so I'm going to paint in here really easily. And now painting of the greenery and the flowers will not be easy. Um, I mean, it will not be difficult. So we don't need to really draw those but we're doing the dragonfly. And so I'm gonna go ahead and sketch where the dragonfly is gonna be first before we get started. And uh, you can um, take a shot of the, um, uh, what do you call it? Click a shot while you're watching this. And um, I forget what to call that. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so you can see the drawing up close and look at it better, okay? I did a big bubble bee on the drawing and design class. So let's go to the overhead camera so that you can see where I'm drawing and I'm gonna kind of go closer, okay? And we will be ready to see this big dragonfly. So what I wanna do, this is the middle of my paper. All right, so I'm going to do a big dragonfly head. Can you all see this? You should be sketching it, not as the end of my finger. Um, it's not going to be, you should not draw it hard like I'm drawing it, like really intense. I want you to sketch it really light, but I want you to be able to see what I'm showing you. So I'm going to bring this down, all right, all the way down here. Now, let me show you. And we'll put a little bit of thickness down here at the end of the tail. All right, if you hold your hand like this from the head to the tail is five fingers, okay? Now, they don't have antennas, but they do have a divided body here. All right, then I'm gonna come down right here and take it on to the limb that we're gonna paint, the stem we're gonna paint. All right, then I'm gonna come out here and come across and it's gonna go in the stem also. And then we do one more out here and it's gonna go down. These are the legs, okay? And this one right here comes in front and it shows one, two, three. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. All right, there's the dragonfly body. All right, and then I'm going to make it come, look at this wing. This wing's gonna come way out here. All right, and then this is a dramatized version of a dragonfly and they're going to be kind of see-through. So this one's going to come up and back. And then this one's going to have one back here that comes in. Let's take we'll erase that right there and have it come all into here. All into where the head is. All right. Now we'll do some division of this some little designs to make it separated, but this is what we're gonna do for now. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and we are going to paint, look at this, there he is, if you wanna do a snapshot of that. Okay, and um, the, this paper is 11 long, 11 by 14, 11, 14. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I am putting some satin green on here. We're using multi-surface paint. We're going to use some daffodil yellow, all folk art multi-surface. I love multi-surface because I can paint on everything. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in here. This is a, like a neon orange. Okay. And we've got the bright green. Oops, sorry. We've got the bright green. And I'm going to take this with some floating medium. Where's our floating medium? Okay, this is the fluff that's inside paint. It's hooker folding medium. And it helps things move on this paper. And it also gives you a look of uh, watercolor because we can make it transparent. All right. So, a little bit of white. All right, so I'm gonna come right here. Okay. Dip it in the medium, work it back and forth. All right, and so I'm gonna come right up here. Chisel. Okay. Now I'm going to come right back up again. Okay. All right. So I'm just coming down, getting skinny. I can come back up. See that mediums make it look real transparent. We're gonna make it a little bit curved at the tip. This can even go off the top up there and you wouldn't know it. All right. Now I'm gonna come in here with some flowers. But remember that stem I said I wanted the dragonfly to be on? All right, so I'm gonna come here and we're gonna go just like this and bring it right there so his legs stand on it. All right. And I'm gonna have another piece like a fern that comes in here. You see that? Now I can do the center vein in this guy, just to give it a little bit more detail. And after I paint the flowers, I will come back and uh, we're gonna do like a little poppy look. All right. And it's gonna be yellow orange poppy. All right, so let's go here and let's do a little bit of the greenery. Kind of looks like fern. So I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow so it's bright. And let's come along here. So I'm pulling, 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 pulling. You see that? Now, the reason I want to do this over here first is because I want this to dry so that when I put the wings, we don't have a problem. Okay. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep coming in here and getting um, little bits of fern. All right. And we're going to come along here. Okay, a little bit more over here. 
Okay, you see how when you look at that, it looks like just a little bit of greenery. All right. I can put a little bit of, it's too big. Let's get a smaller brush. But this is a, a six flat. I can put a little bit of that dark body and I'm gonna end up putting a little bit of turquoise or teal. I'm chiseling this and then I'm gonna push hard and chisel that one up. Okay, so we just want to get that body in there for right now. And we can use some a little bit of Prussian blue. And I'm going to put just a little bit of teal. Just a little bit, because I want a little bit of that teal. And we've got this um, happy green, it's limey like. Happy green. That'll look good on the wings and all too. So we're going to let this sit and dry for a few minutes. But now I'm going to take my three quarter inch flat. And I think maybe if I use a 16, it might be easier. There's my 16. There it is. All right. So I'm going to pick up some of the daffodil yellow with a 16 flat and pick up orange on the second side. All right, so now this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come right in here. Let's do it on this side. I'm going to push and stand up. Push and stand up. Grab some more orange. This is neon orange. Okay, now when I pick up the yellow, I'm gonna grab some white. So when I, there we go. See how we curve it? And we're gonna put a second layer there. All right. There we go. See, that's pretty. All right, so I'm going to get yellow and neon orange. Okay, and then we're going to grab white. You see, watch how I'm doing this. I lay it down, push, and then stand up. Push, and then stand up. And see how it gives you those streaks? All right, we need one more. Push left, push left. But then we got to come in here with white. All right. There we go. How fun was that? <laughs> All right. And then I'm just going to pick up citrus. No, that's the happy green and sap. And we're going to grab little, watch this, little strokes on one here. And we're going to pull it straight down. And those stems are a little bit thicker. One, two, three. Grab some sap. All right, this dark green pulls in the body of the dragonfly. Okay, we're going to come right in here. This one. And we're going to pull down. All right. They're not too big, they're kind of soft little ones. All right, so I'm going to take off all the yellow and to finish this guy up, I'm gonna take floating medium and a little bit of this teal. See, we want a watercolor effect. And by now, most of this green is dry. All right. So 
So I keep getting medium and two. Work it in. Medium and two. Okay, and then we do the upper ones. Lots of medium and grab two. Now we're just down grabbing two. I'm just coming right along in there. And then come and do the outside edges. You want that greenery to show through his wings. Oops. You see, that's too much. So I grab the medium. Okay, so now I'm going to go a little bit of this Prussia blue. All right, so we're going to come along here. Okay, let's get some Prussia blue along here. Right a little bit here. Now, what happens? I'll let this dry for a minute. So, I want this dragonfly to be a major, major part of it. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in here with some lime and some white. And we're going to with some little detail on here. Then we're gonna come down along here, all right? See, it's got a little bit of light in it. All right, so I'm gonna take my liner. I'm going to do his little legs, which are going to be a little bit more of the dark green and Prussian blue. So it's one here, and this one's on here. This one's back here, crossing over. See how it crosses over? And then we have one down here. All right. Now, what's really fun is to put some iridescent in here. I thought I'm going to put this um, aqua iridescent, aqua color shift. And what this paint does is iridescent. What this does is it does what that label does. It changes colors when you look at it. All right. So what I want to show you first is we're going to take and do some little liner work. Too much water. A little bit less. So we're going to come right through here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna blow dry this for a minute, but before I do, let's take my toothbrush, okay? And I'm gonna get some water, get some white, okay? And I'm gonna flick. Oop, I got it all over the dragonfly, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take this liner work. Maybe I won't use the blow dryer. Let's go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna take this 
and do a little bit of veins in here. All right, so we're gonna do that to all of them, all of the wings. Okay, you see that I'm not worrying about it being perfect. We're just going for a look. Okay. I'll bring the dark blue back in here. Put some blue on the body. All right, so I'm gonna blow dry that for a minute and put some color shift on it. And I think you'll like it. Okay, I'm thinking I could just go and make this a little bit larger. Let's get some white. There we go. There we go. This is neon orange, you can use pure orange. I'm gonna do a little bit larger on this. All right, we'll pick up a little bit of white when we do that. A little bit of orange, neon orange. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's take our 12. I'm gonna put some, a little bit of color shift on the body. And we can do some across the wings. But you have to blow dry this first or let it totally dry. Now I went right over the white so that it won't be so strong. Okay, when this dries, look at that. And there we go. Take some medium and some darker green. I'm gonna put a little bit more of our fern in here. I wasn't thrilled about the edge of that leaf. That's what I love about one stroke painting, you can fix anything. Pull, 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 pull these little strokes. And you want this fern to show through there, it pretty much does, but sometimes I get carried away. Yeah. All right, now when this dries, we can come in here, I think a little bit of uh, this blue, inky blue, Prussian blue. See, I'm putzing, I need to let you guys go, but I just like putzing around. 
All right, so you can take little lines. See, so add some of those blue lines back on top. And now pull all of these towards you. I was pushing it up. You can't, you should not be pushing it up. So you do one there, do one over here. This is the easiest way to make butterflies or dragonflies work is that you, whatever you do here, you come and do over here. But don't do too many ahead. There we go. There. Hope you guys like this. I'm excited for you. Uh, come see the more you enjoy my stroke painting, the more you'll want to do our membership and the other lessons I teach, along with all the free stuff you get right here on my channel. So share my channel, be part of my channel. Love having you here. And I'll see you. Check us out Friday. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.